All right, uh, let's create a modern chair, a quick chair. So I need to delete this cube first and then add mess um, math functions XYZ math service. If you do not find this option, what you can do is you can go here, edit preferences, add on, search for extra. Okay. Search for extra. And then you will find two options curve extras and then mess extras, right? So, this uh, what I'm going to do today is to build a chair with a curve object. So I'm adding this one as well as I did this one before. So if it is not there, simply come here, add-ons, search for extras, and then enable those add-ons. And then come over here after that, under the mess, add mess, math functions, X, Y, Z service. Now, if you do not see this object, you can select from this operator preset, a various stuff, so this one is called catenite. And then the number of uh, you know steps are too many. So what I do here is I will make it 24. And that's pretty much it. And then I can click on the other uh, empty area so that I confirm my settings. Okay, this is my starting uh, point. What I start with this one is simply turning this one. Select the object. Uh, before that, let's go to object properties and then view display, turn off this wireframe mode so that you can clearly see that you are in object mode. All right, so let's select this object and then R to rotate, X to constraint to X axis and then 90 and hit enter. Okay, now let's select the object, tab into edit mode. Now select all, uh, make sure that you are in edge selection mode, all click on this edge, this one, so that you select the entire edge loop. Now make sure that you enable this proportional editing or press O to enable that one or disable that. Make sure that is enabled and now scale while you are you know changing the effective radius now let's grab this along the axis grab z now scale along x axis very slightly okay now again Select the entire loop, uh, edge loop, or click on that edge. Now, rotate around X axis. Okay. Now come over here, select the uh, face selection mode, Alt, click on this edge, that will select the entire edge loop, and then scale. To make it uh, small and also select this loop and then scale until you find it is proportionally correct all right so now let's get this part slightly up select this face top view it is easy for you to select select both of these faces to make it you know symmetric and then grab G and then Z okay now let's come over here top view um, yeah this one and this one let's see no not those two these two and then go to side view almost grab Z all right so while adjusting your um, 
uh, effective area because you are in proportional editing mode so you can adjust the effective area all right so this should do it now let's select couple of these faces here so that we can build our cushion for the the chair so let's select this um, two uh, faces and then go to select select uh, more or less select more right control plus from your numpad okay now then manually select these things okay i think that should do it i feel like if i deselect this set that would be more appropriate okay now shift d and then right click what you did is you duplicated those faces and then placed in the same place right now p from your keyboard and then select selection and then tap out of edit mode now you see one chair and then the cushion now what i do here is i will uh, get it away from the main um, the chair grab Y okay what I can do now is go to modifier tab add modifier solidify modifier and then increase the thickness Don't worry, it is going over, uh, beyond that. Uh, the chair, we are doing the same thing for the chair. Add modifier, solidify modifier, and then increase the thickness of the chair. So it is like a you know, plastic chair. Now, go come over here, object, shade smooth. Get same thing for this uh, cushion, object, shade smooth. If you want to keep this low poly keep it like this so if you want to see how many polygons are there you can come over here and then turn on statistics so you have uh, 1752 faces but if you want to make it more smooth control one to add one level of subdivision surface modifier to that one and then do the same thing for this one so you get a nice smooth surface but remember that you increase the number of faces up to 7,000. Now let's add a cushion so that you can sit on this chair. Add mess round cube. And then it's a cube. Now you increase the radius to make it a circle. Now scale along Z axis. And then grab Z, scale X, and then scale Y slightly, and then grab Y, grab Z, scale Z. now let's do some proportional editing to this one tab into edit mode disable the um, and enable proportional editing vertex selection mode select these two vertices uh, select this Select like this and then grab Z. Okay, now enable extreme mode so that you can see through this chair and then select these two 
or maybe three and then grab Z so that you can move that out of the way and also scale X very slightly okay now it is very uh, you know low poly uh, before that let's do get into tab edit, in edit mode select this grab Z to make it like a cushion now type into object mode control one to add one maybe two two levels of subdivision surface modifiers object sales mode okay now that should do it so this is your modern chair uh, let's assign some colors i'm going to save this somewhere so that i can upload this one to for you to download uh, let's do chair two okay let's assign a plastic like material to this uh, object the chair new uh, let's assign some greenish color less saturated dark green and also mattress let's assign some uh, yellowish color not that much saturated and for this one let's make it more like a plastic by reducing the roughness not too much but and then for this one increase the roughness to make it more like a uh, cloth now I want to apply the same material to this cushion as well I select that cushion and finally select the other cushion that has the material control L material okay this is your chair modern chair so you can use this one in your architectural design okay i will upload this one to my uh, website so that you can freely download this model and then use it in anywhere as you wish all right so that concludes our tutorial of making a modern chair uh, an easy chair uh, quickly all right so remember to subscribe and then you will get notification every time i upload a video